We all know what happened getting into the war. We all know the, the and this was not just bad intelligence. Um, the president cited a UN report, for example, when we were going in, that never existed. He quoted a defector from Iraq who said absolutely the opposite of what uh, the president claimed he said. And my favorite was he went on for his national radio address on a Saturday in October of 2002 and said not only does Saddam Hussein have biological and chemical weapons, but he can now put them on these unmanned aerial vehicles. And he has the capability of launching these things from ships off the coast of the United, the east coast of the United States and fly them from one end of the coast to the other, uh, killing millions and millions of Americans, knowing full well and having in the possession of the White House uh, an Air Force report that documented beyond any question that that was impossible, that, that he does, Saddam Hussein did not have the capability, nor had he ever had the capability. So we got into the war on the basis of a deception, and we remain in the war on the basis of manipulation and deception. The Pentagon, just three days ago, issued a report on the casualties in Iraq, and they show that the, despite the surge, the violence and, the, and the, the, the deaths due to this violence have been increasing significantly during the course of the surge. From, a, from an average daily death rate of 130 per day in June to over 150 uh, today. And, and when you look at these figures, and backed up by an independent report released a few weeks ago by the Associated Press, and you look at what General Petraeus reported to the Congress to great aplomb, you ask, well, how is it that they, they could be so contradictory? And of course, um, what General Petraeus did not say was that his definition of ethno-sectarian violence excluded car bombing. So anyone killed by a car bomb is not a victim of sectarian violence. Anyone involved in Shia on Shia uh, violence, Sunni on Sunni violence, anyone shot in the front of the head, and many other categories were excluded from his death toll in Iraq. And, and to make it even worse, they actually recalculated the way that they, they numbered the death toll in 2006. The actual, that they had actually sent out a report, they recalculated, they had a new basis for the calculation, and it turned out that the 2006 casualty figures, as of last week, were 25% higher than they were when they were released at the end of 2006. Why? Because that, of course, makes the 2007 figures under the surge look much longer, uh, much lower. So the systematic manipulation and deception continues. And what I think is so important for us those of us who are particularly in faith communities or doing this work is to get clearly before the American people the truth, the facts.